Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Fierce FEV Race Pit Mini 20x20mm flight controller. In this video I'm going to go over its features and specs and also announce a giveaway which is kindly sponsored by Fierce FEV. Inside this packaging along with the flight controller that came well protected inside this box you can find the wiring diagram, 4 M2 to M3 threads aluminum spacers, pin headers, and the harness for connecting the flight controller with a 4-in-1 ESC. The weight of the race pit mini is 5.3 grams and its outer dimensions are 30.8 by 31.3 by 6.4 millimeters. And even though this flight controller is pretty small, don't let it size fool you as it packs almost the same features of its bigger brother which I've previously reviewed. The race pit mini came pre-flashed with beta flight 4.03 and the target for flashing the new firmware is FF underscore RacePit. In terms of features, just like the full-sized RacePit flight controller, the RacePit Mini features six free UART ports, which is more than enough and will enable you to connect pretty much every peripheral that you will need. Next to the 4-in-1 ESC connector, you can find soldering pads, which is a good backup plan in case the connector is going to break. These soldering pads can be found on the bottom as well, just like all the other soldering pads of the flight controller. In addition, on the flight controller, you can find different pads that you will need to either bridge or unbridge in order to set the power source for the VTX, camera, and your radio receiver. It features the option to power the VTX using power switch on user one. And if you'd like to know more about this feature, you can watch my full review of the Furious FPV race speed flight controller. Finally, using the included pin headers, you can mount your radio receiver straight on top of the flight controller, which is very convenient and is going to save you some space. So overall, this flight controller looks very promising, and in case you wonder, as far as I know, the only difference between the mini-sized and the full-sized flight controllers, except the size difference of course, is that the full-sized race speed flight controller offers the option to switch between different cameras. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to feature the Race Pit Mini in a build video, however I can tell you that I have a very good experience using the full-sized Race Pit Flight Controller and you can watch my build and flight video of the iFlight DC-10 over here where I used this flight controller. Regarding the giveaway, in case you would like to win the first FEB Race Pit Mini Flight Controller, which is going to be directly sent to you by first FEB, all you have to do is to make sure to be subscribed to my channel turn on the notifications bell and leave a comment down below. The only condition for this giveaway to happen is that this video needs to reach 1000 views by the end of this month and then I'm going to announce the winner. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the Furious FEV Race Pit Mini Flight Controller, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. I would like to thank Furious FEV for sponsoring this giveaway and I will see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.